Hi everyone, welcome to Perceptions, the channel that is all about perfume perceptions. Today we are going to look at my collection again. Uh, this is, I think, the fourth video, or anyway, one of the videos, and today we are going to talk about some uh, fragrances that are around Marin, Lang, Lilium, or Star Stargazer Lily, Jasmine, Orange Blossom, and gardenia so these are the main notes of these perfumes and so i think that this i'm i'm sharing my collection with you because i think it's useful for you to see what my taste is and so maybe you can also understand whether uh, we have similar tastes and so you know like kind of see whether you can how you can you know relate to my reviews and of the perfumes so what did i want to say again yeah i wanted to mention that this is not a complete collection on these notes and the reason being that i need to <laughs> do um kind of um i need to organize again a reorganize i need to do a reorganization of my storage for my collection so this is kind of a kind of a partial view i mean uh there are some new additions that i'm not in that are not in here um and yeah some others that i just uh, didn't put in here because maybe they were niche or very high end and i wouldn't i didn't put them here initially and now i want to actually put them all together so yeah i'll change this maybe next year i will uh, you know show the but i'll show the new ones also to you in another video so, okay let's get into it so these are my gardenia perfumes uh, here you can see Aura Sensuelle by Mugler, which is a fresh gardenia, very modern, extremely modern type of perfume. Uh, another very modern perfume, in my opinion, is Gardenia and Cardamom by Banana Republic. And, uh, I mean, this one I got it for nothing, but I really, really love it. Uh, I think if you like Soleil, Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford, you may really like that one. Uh, it's not a dupe, but, you know, the vibe together, this is a bit cleaner and a bit uh, less uh, pungent so yeah you have to see for yourself but uh, i think they they got it together then something that is a bit more classical very oily type of uh, perfume is gardenia here you have a lot of lang lang besides gardenia and this has been done by aurelien guichard which has done a lot of narciso rodriguez as well but it is not a must perfume and he has his own um brand i think it's called Mathieu premier if i'm not mistaken then here I have Grand Balbur by, by Casa Moratti, so this is essentially caramel and gardenia. Here I have the Mikalev gardenia, this is a kind of a classical green gardenia, I really like it, but I'm telling you because maybe some people don't like classical gardenias. And here we have Gardenia Rattan, Gardenia Rattan by Erin by Estee Lauder, this is a beautiful um, um, salty woody gardenia. So going back, going to Orange Blossom, I'm going to skip it, the Elisable Parfum and its flanker because everyone talks about them. So I think you know more than my, more than I do. Uh, here we have Fleur d'Oranger by Serge Lutin. This is my favorite Orange Blossom and I don't use it because I'm afraid of uh, using it. I don't know, whatever, but I really like it. Then we have uh, Cabaret by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Uh, classic Cabaret. This is a, actually, if you like Love, Don't Be Shy, if you're looking for something that lasts forever and uh, yeah, maybe it's a tad less sweet, I mean, this could be for you. I mean, this is a very similar. It's not a dupe, but it's a very similar. And here, instead, if you're looking for something uh, that is more neroli, so a bit kind of more astringent type of, um, I don't know how to say, pungent, very sharp, very um very citrusy type of uh, uh, orange blossom so the neroli this is a classic pinup and here i have a gallimard uh, which is called adenimo uh, i mean adenimo i think in french uh so yeah so this is a beautiful orange blossom more classical slightly slightly soapy very beautiful perfume then always a Closing up on uh, Orange Blossom, we have the Not Gourmand Grimaud, which means marshmallow. So this is essentially a dupe if you wear it on the skin. If you wear it on the clothes, it won't be, it will smell completely different. But if you wear it on the skin, this is uh, kind of fluffy and similar to Love Don't Be Shy and Sintra. I mean, it's not a dupe, but it's, uh, you know, the type of perfume. Really nice and very long lasting. This lasts forever, as well as the Clara Dorantica. But I pre actually prefer the Reminiscence. Uh, this is actually Melody de Orientica. This is also the Sintra by Memo dupe. I actually have bought the Sintra by Memo. I have to put it here. 
uh but yeah i'll maybe i can make a comparison video if you're interested then oh yeah another one that i think is worth mentioning is definitely perdizione by nobile i think nobile does very elegant takes on uh, fragrances so perdizione is orange blossom and uh, sugar powder vani vanilla sugar powder uh kind of if you want marshmallow uh this is actually inspired by an italian uh, neapolitan uh, dessert which is kind of called um oh my god pastiera and uh, you know it's an easter type of dessert it's a cake like um uh, yeah and uh yeah so anyway this is very beautiful i highly recommend it if you like stuff like love don't be shy you know that type of uh, fragrance uh then you probably will like that one as well uh then jasmine uh beautiful jasmine for summertime to start with zona some aquatic some fruity some clean jasmine um also another beautiful perfume lilac perfume this is uh this is not a blue bottle 1.2 uh, by luca maffei beautiful perfume very fresh very modern very very clean and uh, smells simple but of course not gonna be yeah, Serge Luton Religious, this is kind of new, this is a jasmine and incense mostly, and here Phil de Jouet, this is honey, um, beautiful mask, um, and uh, nocturnal jasmine, super beautiful perfume, it's, it's addictive, I have a huge backup for this. And then what else? I think, uh, yeah, here we have the vanilla benzoin uh, and jasmine by you're addicted with i used to love the i think the first formulation was stunning incredible uh this one is okay then here we have my lily perfumes um here i have the lily by serge lutan which is a um, clean uh take on lily for my nose uh then i have something also interesting it's out of production so if you can find it grab it this is a delicate uh, lily perfume by Fragonard. Not sure if you know this brand, it's a very beautiful uh, house, in my opinion. Uh, here I have La Vierge de Fer by Serge Lutin. Um, but uh, yeah, then what else? Another lily that I really, really like. Oh, this one is from uh, an indie brand, but uh, it's very hard to find. It's from Illuminum. I'm not sure if you know the brand. Um, and then here I have some other takes on Lily. Uh, one I would recommend is definitely White Star by Abdul Samad Al Qurashi. They sell them in Europe, in London and Paris. I'm not sure about the rest of the world. Um, this is a very beautiful, I, I call it a, a Lolita perfume because it's a um, stargazer lily uh, and other white flowers and mask. And it, it seems to be innocent, but it's definitely not. Uh, then, of course, I have Eau de Parfum by Cartier uh, Bessé Volet and the Parfum Edition. I prefer the Parfum Edition because of the tonka, which makes it a bit warmer. Um, then here I have my Lang Focus perfumes, of course, a lot of Black Orchid and similar perfumes. Then I have my, one of my favorite uh, perfumes of all times, which is Valentino, uh, Valentina Mir Assoluto. Unfortunately, it's out of production. And here I have Upper Collection Azalea, which is similar to it, and also another one that is similar to Psychedelic Love by Initio. Um, then, uh, talking instead of uh, Black Orchid, we have Black Orchid, Velvet Orchid, and Black Orchid Parfum. I think my favorite stay is Velvet Orchid, and probably the second favorite is the Parfum, and then the original Black Orchid in the new formulation. And here I have similar scents. This is a scent of Venezia by the Merchant of Venice beautiful very vibrant patchouli in here and here i have an amurud uh, dark orchid very similar as well uh, another lang based perfume which i highly recommend is lang lang no cb very elegant perfume uh, vanilla and lang lang and some gaia could uh, to give these smoke touches and here another lang perfume which is extremely strong with saffron as well is Rev de lang by van cleef and arpels this is uh, Kind of similar to black orchid but more long and less dark and more uh, saffron and it's extreme i think it's the most powerful perfume i have in all of my collection and then oh yeah i want to talk to you very quickly about these beautiful vanilla perfumes by pierre guillaume dialogue with venus 
it's here and not in the vanilla area because this is very lactonic and here i have lactonic scents like extremely lactonic scents so um essentially this one um is vanilla uh, lactonic uh, scents maybe there's sandalwood and the lang 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 is you don't really smell it unless you know you really look for it um and this is extremely similar to this one they're about the same arte bellissimo exotic i think i made a bit of a mess now here so wait, wait, wait. okay i'll fix it later another very lactonic scent is this is uh, by the vegan filter and i also have a just rock edition which is with some myrrh in there uh, and i think that's all for the lung let's move on and here we have some marine scents uh, so I think my favorite of all is Cedar Fodil by Jean Malone. This is new and I'm waiting for summer to actually use it. A beautiful aromatic marine uh, kind of florally vanilla perfume. Sweet perfume anyway, um, but not too sweet, you know. Um, then what else do we have? Magnolia and Salt. Anori by Le Cuban. Very beautiful and lung and uh, i think davana and other very aromatic uh, um, touches uh, solano by le couvent very balmy type of perfume uh, it's like a balm beautiful a lang lang balm with some aromatic uh, balsamic touches and then with us here have uh, la belle fleur terrible beautiful uh, floral uh, marine perfume uh, olympia by paco rabanne salty vanilla uh, I think the dry down of Olympia is very beautiful. The opening, I don't like it much. And we, here we have Womanity, super strong perfume. Uh, a little goes a long way. Uh, you can chop yourself if you <laughs> spray this one. Murea by Simone Andreoli. I think this is there's a bit too much patchouli for my liking. This is supposed to be mostly uh, some citrusy, lang lang, uh, uh, merry notes and patchouli, but the patchouli overwhelms it for me. So it was a blind buy. I'm, I'm, you know, my partner wears it and I think it smells much better on a man uh, than on a woman, but it's a unisex perfume, perfume anyway, so it's just my personal preference. Um, yeah, and so there's there'd be much more to say, but of course I want to keep it short and just give you the idea of the type of perfumes that I like. And so I hope this is useful for you and if you like the video, please, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and... Uh, activate the notification bell and i hope to see you or have you with me next time <laughs>